Afternoon, ladies and gents. It's uh, Handyman again uh, with another how-to. Found this more on the side of the road, so I just wanted to show y'all how to uh, take a quick check on it to see if it, you know, would possibly run, or, you know, is it worth even fooling with to possibly, you know, flip and make a, a free dollar off, you know, some garbage. One man trash, another man treasure. So, uh, we're going to take a look at it and see if we can uh, figure out why they set this thing inside the road and uh, and go from there. I see somebody already tinkered with it because they uh, took the bolts out. As you can see, the string is slack. So that's the first issue we're going to have to take to the bed to use the string correctly to uh, be able to try and crank it. So we're going to just remove that. The next thing we would do be to remove looks like the fuel tank and uh, to get that out the way these bolts here is what actually takes the pull rope cover off of but you have uh, a couple of bolts underneath the fuel tank uh, let's see one on the other side uh, down in behind here uh, under the tank you're not gonna be able to get to a wrench you're gonna have to take that fuel tank off so we're gonna get that off, see if we can fix that rope so we can be able to uh, pull it. And I'm gonna show you the next step after that so we can uh, you know, figure out where to go from there. This is uh, part one of this. So uh, you know, I'm still trying to figure out how to operate all this, my channel and stuff from my phone. So uh, try to make this short as possible, but we gonna first start by um, like I said, um, taking that fuel tank off and we're gonna go from there. So I got a few wrenches ready. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start there. Like I said, you got about one, two, three bolts there. Grab my DeWalt. Got a wrench set up, 5 sixteenths. Left it loose here, got it tighter. It's one, two, and seems like we got an issue with that one. Put it up a little bit, put a little pressure on it, and it should, it should come up. Might be the problem why the rope's hanging up. Let's figure it out and see. Uh, oh, found another boat under here. That's our problem. That's not a five sixteenths. That looks like it'll be a ten or a three eighths. Got a 3 8 handy, so let's see if that'll get it. This is a American made, so. Yep, that did it. And we we'll have to go back to that boat. There we go. We ain't gonna even worry about putting that boat back in there if we can get it out. First step, let me just sit, cock that to the side for a minute. Then we'll take our three eighths for the bolts. See if see two there and the two back there. I see another one is already. Where we go, get in the frame. There we go. There's one. The other one's been taken loose. So they've been trying to figure out what's wrong with it. It's all off over this thing. So. Uh, who knows what kind of shape it's in, but we're going to take a crack at it anyway. And one more there for the oil. She's going to have to take that one out. Go back to your 5 sixteenths. Pull that up out your way 
and cover should come right off. And as you can see, it automatically started rewinding on its own. That's really all we need to do to uh, be able to pull it. That was hanging up. Oh, okay. That's broke under there. No wonder it's binding up. Uh, so the rope's back in. What we're gonna do is, all we need is one good pull to do what we need to do. So we're gonna try to sit that back down for a minute. See if we can get that to center. Sit back down, you're gonna have to pull that just a hair. There we go. Now, what we'll do is tighten that back down real quick just to be able to get one good pull and do what we need to do. So I put that back. Uh, put that back. Assuming that's that one back. And we'll put that one back. Switch back over to our three eighths. Just snug them down a little bit. There. There. To this side we've got a screw right there for our carburetor and that's the first thing we want to do when we get any kind of mower or anything with a motor is to uh let's see i'm looking for my screwdriver here first thing we want to do with anything to a motor is to see if fuel is perhaps the issue. So I got a little uh, carburetor spray here and we'll shoot it and keep our fingers crossed, fire up. You know it's a carburetor problem, we'll look for smoke, anything else. We just wanna see if it'll pop off and potentially run. So, a little spray into the car. As you can see, we've got a little bit more issues than we thought. So we're gonna have to do a little bit more tinkering with it to fix that uh, thing on top. But you see, uh, it's actually trying to pop. Looks like it's starting to smoke a little bit. So we will go see if we can get that rope straightened out a little bit better and we'll take two on it. So stay tuned. 